Hey folks, Bill here with Whirly Bird Video Productions. I've got a product that I actually am selling. I wanted to bring this uh, to the internet uh, for all my RC guys that uh, need power supplies to run their chargers, uh, either at the field or at home. It puts out 53 amps. Uh, it's a 1300 watt power supply. Again, the power supply is 12 volt DC. Puts out 53 amps at 1300 watts at 110. You can run it on 220. If you run it on 220, it puts out 106 amps. Uh, so if you want to crank it up, you can run it at 210. I don't run any of mine at 210, but it says right here on the label that you can't. <laughs> um, so I've got a couple here. And folks ask me all the time, can you, can you sear these up and get uh, 24 volts? Yeah, it's really simple. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, the only thing you got to do is make sure your grounds don't touch because the case is a common ground. So I separate these generally. I install these in some sort of little case or something that I use to take to the field. And I'll just separate them, you know, somehow with a piece of foam or a piece of corrugated plastic or whatever and actually put down in there and, you know, get them together to where they're, you know, where they're going to work correctly so I can get 12 or 24 volts from the source. So I'm going to switch around here, grab the camera, and kind of show you a closer up how I use them. Uh, again, this is a, it's a great product. I sell these for uh, 50 bucks uh, plus shipping. Uh, so you guys can get them online and get a good deal. So that's really cheap. So $50 for a power supply that gives you 12 volts, 53 amps at 1300 watts. I don't know anyone out there that sells a hobby power supply for that amount of money. So again, you can buy two of these for a hundred bucks, which is still cheaper than any of the ones I've seen out there. Say that are 20 or even 40 amps or a couple hundred bucks. Uh, so you could buy two of these for a hundred bucks plus shipping. Uh, generally, if you buy two, I'll give you a little bit of a discount. So you'll end up getting, say, two for 90. So you get a little bit better deal. Shipping, I use Priority Mail. I don't charge any handling fees or anything like that. It's straight up whatever the flat rate is on that box. So anyway, I'll switch around and show them to you. They have a 30-day warranty. What that is is you just send it back to me, and I'll send you a new one. So that uh, that takes care of that. If we're out at a fly-in somewhere and you see me and you have an issue, you can, of course, come right up to me. I, I check all these and make sure that everything's good with them before they go out the door. So I shouldn't have any problem whatsoever. So I'll switch around, get the camera, show you close up, show you exactly what I'm using it for, and I think you'll be amazed at the product and the cost is just, a, it's gravy for that cheap, really. Thanks a lot. Hey folks, so here's the two power supplies. Uh, normally I just run one, so I, but I want to show everybody you can hook these in series to get 24 volts for the folks that want to run off 24 volts to charge. Uh, 10S batteries, 12S batteries, uh, already put together uh, at high amp. So uh, normally I just run one, but I'm going to run two of these so I can show you how to do that series connection. So what I've got here is my Ultimate Duo 400 times 2 that I got from NitroPlanes.com. Uh, it's a pretty good little charger. I'll do a review on that shortly. Um, I like it. It works just as good as my Thunder Power 820. Um, and it's about $140 cheaper than the underpower charger. Anyway, so what I'm going to be charging here for the demonstration, these are my 700 uh, T-Rex battery packs. Um, they're 5,000 milliamps, 6S. I use 20C batteries. I'm not really a big, huge 3D guy yet, so I don't need really high C rating. So unfortunately, I have to kind of charge them slow, but I charge them a little bit faster than the 1C anyway. I charge them about one and a half. Uh, so for the demonstration, I'll be charging at seven amps on all four of them uh, without without a problem. Um, I'll show you how that works on one uh, power supply, 12 volts for both of them, and then also hook it up so that the Thunder Power can run off the 24 volts uh, if it if you want to run it that way. So the first thing I'm going to do and show you how this uh, works. So I'm only going to turn one power supply on right now, but 
they've got this little connections that uh, are for something else but it works wonderful for your banana plugs you just stick them right down in there and it holds them good and they're snug and it works really good so I mean that that's that's a perfect fit everything works great so I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the power supply just to plug it up and it'll come on you hear my chargers coming up you can see that I've got, uh, let's see, we're going to balance charge at 7 amps, 22.6. Go ahead and start. And you can see I just flew this battery down a little. It starts charging. And then we're going to do this one also. it's charging and you'll hear the fan on this kick up the fan on your your uh, power supply this uh, uh, charger fans a little loud so that fan you're hearing is actually this fan it's not that one this the power supply fan will kick up as it gets hot so it will kick up and down to keep cool but you're hearing the fan off of this one that's the only drawback I see to this one so it's not really a big drawback to me it's just this little fan so again I'm going to come over to this one go into port one I've already got it set up seven amps I'm going to go ahead and tell it to start charging well apparently I put something up wrong 6s 5000 well you gotta hook it up right so got to hook the balance lead into the port let's try it again and now it's charging See my input voltage there is, it's really hard to read, it's 12, 12 volts, uh, the camera can't see it too well. So I switch to the other port, 6, 7 amps, go ahead and start charging this one. So that's charging. Now the fan on my power supply, I just heard it kick up a little, so that's it. So I could sit there and charge my batteries all day. Most of those charging at seven amps a piece on all four batteries. So this power supply really rocks. And I could really, I could actually if, say if I wanted to to charge even another charger, I could plug in here, run say one of the little 50 watt chargers, and charge some three cell packs off the same power supply would be no problem. So I'm going to stop this charger so you can hear that that's the power supply, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, charger fan. So now you can hear that this, this fan's just barely kicking. This was the one that was causing all the noise. Again, that's the only drawback to this little charger. But enough about the charger, we're talking about the power supply. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this one too. I've got them both running. So both fans are running. And you take your positive to your negative and that's series them so now I got my negative to my power supply going to my negative on my charger so then my positive just goes to the other one that's gonna make a good clack because it's 24 volts so now we're hooked up you can see I'm all I'm gonna go ahead and start the charge Switch the port, start the charge. And then I could cycle through to I get to the voltage, and you can see now, I don't know if you can see it that there you go. 24.5 volts. So that's my input voltage. So again, that's pretty simple. So if you run around 24 volts, that's pretty good. If you guys buy two at once, like I said, I'll give you five bucks off each one if you buy two, so you can get two for 90 bucks one for 50 and again shipping is whatever the flat rate shipping fee is uh, that'll be on the listing I just wanted to do the video because it seems to be a little bit easier to do the video to kind of show you guys how it works so if I wanted to this uh, power this charger is not a 24 volt or so I don't want to hook it to 24 but if I wanted to hook it to 12 I could just hook it up like this and then I can run this charger off of one power supply I can go ahead and set that up and start the charge.
and then those are charging and then you'll hear the fan kick on on the charger like I said that's the drawback to this one this one's really quiet it's not even doing anything whereas this this one the fans on it I think it's just not smart enough to know that I can slow the fans down so they just run wide open So that's it, these are good little power supplies.